Hey guys, it's Mr. Kevlar again, and I say again, I haven't posted a video for quite a long time, and that's simply because I haven't had time to do it, I haven't been able to think of any ideas, and I just haven't posted. Um, if you've seen my gaming channel, I haven't posted uh, much on there either. I did a video earlier, and by earlier, it was about an hour and a half ago, because I've just been out. Um, basically, what this video is going to be is, if you subscribe to my gaming channel, you'd have seen my recent upload... Um, yeah, I had sort of a timer on there and I was like searching for timers on for After Effects and then you needed some coding to go with it so I thought bugger it I'm just gonna like fill about the settings in After Effects and see if I can like make my own timer like by animating it so what I came up with um, I did a quick little so sort of, well you'll see in the final output of this but I did like mess around with some text and stuff like that that didn't work so I tried other options. I had a look online, and then some people said about um, using an effect with with time. So I, they didn't go much into it. Um, so I didn't have a clue what to do. So I just started messing about, as I said. And this is what I came up with. What you're gonna do? You're gonna need to create a new solid. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. Just like say that you have gameplay and. I'll just make it a black shot, but say you've got gameplay or like you're in Modern Warfare 3, you've got a MOAB and you want to time yourself doing a MOAB or I don't know, you want to time yourself doing something. Um, just put the black solid down and then what you want to do, you just want to create a mask over it. Um, I don't think black solid was the best. Um, that's actually layer solid settings. Um, I'll make it white or so yeah. Right. So, the black is the footage behind it, and then this is the solid. This is what your time is going to be on. So then you want to go and create a new layer. So this is just like the sort of background for your timer, really. You want to create a new solid again. Um, it doesn't matter what color it is, so, so just keep it white. And then you're going to go to effect. Um, yeah, it's already there from my when I exited it. Um, I forgot where it is now, text and then numbers and then what you're going to do, you're going to see this come up, I just align everything left and then you want to select the sort of font you need or want, um, I've got the stencil font because it's pretty cool um, because it looks like sort of digital and um, that's just changing the fill colour so you don't need to, you can mess about with all these settings and just fit them to your liking Right, just do that for a second. You know, you want it to one decimal place, and just align it a bit more in the center. Right, take away the position and decimal place. Right, see this little value offset and random. You want to change that. Uh, you want to click the little keyframe on that um, where you, when you want it to start, and then you want to. So like I'll drag it to 10 seconds, right it's on 10 seconds now and then I'm going to change that to 10, so that means 10 seconds. So what this is essentially going to do is just count up to 10, um, this is a really easy tutorial, so I'll just play it. So see, you can see as it's going along the timeline, as soon as it hits it's hitting it three, four, five seconds, you know it's um, that amount of seconds. Just this is just for a test or something. So you know that it's right now. You know that it's counting and whatnot. But what what happens if you want to start it, start it, like halfway through your footage, like I did? Then all you're gonna need to do is just exactly the same thing. I don't know why I just deleted it. So uh, how big was it? It's pretty big. I'll just keep it at that. One decimal place. Keep it red because I can't bother to change the colours. So, uh, if you want to start it at 5 seconds, then all you're going to do is put it at 5 seconds. Yeah, it's at 5. And then click the little ticker. And then drag it to 10 seconds. And then put the number in so it's 5. And then just press play to watch it go. See, it's not going up. And as soon as it gets to 5 seconds, I should have ran preview this, I think it would have been quicker. Then as soon as it gets to 5 seconds, um, it starts going up. So that's how you do it, it's a quick and easy tutorial on how to do it. 
um, you do have a lot of other settings that you you can put but the reason why I put a mask behind it is um, so it just looks neater so it, because if you didn't have that mask and like it was a different color it might not stand out or if it was on gameplay like mine was then it wouldn't it would be it wouldn't stand out enough so you can see it so I put it on a black background so you can see it more um, I think that's it for this tutorial I think it is because it's a pretty easy tutorial um, if you want this font I don't know if it's actually in um, After Effects or it's one that I've downloaded but if you want this font or you haven't got this font just tell me and then I'll send you a link to it hope you liked the tutorial um, comment, rate and subscribe